Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel. Today we are diving into an another exciting project on physics informed neural networks. Today we will see how to solve Newton's law of cooling using physics informed neural networks or in short pins. This video is designed to give you a complete theoretical understanding and practical implementation of your pin model to solve for a differential equation. In this case it is Newton's law of cooling. Though we specially focus on Newton's law of cooling as an example in this tutorial, the underlying concepts and the programming techniques that we present in this tutorial are general and they can be applied to a wide range of differential equations. In addition, towards the end of this tutorial, we will discuss an important topic in physics informed neural networks that is uh, multi-weighted loss functions. So this kind of loss functions allow us to fine tune the network performance by balancing different aspects of the problem by carefully tuning these weights. So these are some special weights we attach to the loss from different terms such as loss from PDE, loss from initial conditions, etc. By tuning these parameters, we can improve the model's accuracy and robustness, making it better suited for uh, dealing with several types of constraints. We will dive into this topic in more detail later in this tutorial. So stay tuned and watch the video till the end. For those people who are uh, new to this topic, pins are an innovative approach that combines the power of neural networks with the differential equations governing some or uh, any physical phenomena. In this session, we will explore how to model the cooling process as described by the Newton's law of cooling using this cutting edge technology. This is a very new area and it comes under the umbrella of scientific machine learning. Let's start with a bit of theory. Newton's law of cooling states that the rate of change of an object's temperature is proportional to the difference between its current temperature and ambient temperature and this k is a proportionality constant. So here capital T represents the temperature of the object and a T ambient represents the ambient temperature that is temperature of surroundings and K is a proportionality constant that depends on the properties of the object and the environment and the small t is the time. In our simulation we will use uh, these values T ambient is assumed to be 27 degrees Celsius and uh, initial temperature T0 is assumed to be 250 degrees Celsius and K is assumed to be 0.45. And uh, this is the analytical solution, which is a function of T ambient, initial temperature and uh, uh, proportionality constant and the temperature. So this looks like this. So here we compare the pin solution with the analytical solution, this one. So if you look at here, they both are agreeing well. We will look in detail about how to get this complete plot in a while. Before we dive deep into today's tutorial, I have a small request. Behind every video, we do a lot of hard work to give you the best content. If you like our content, please subscribe to our channel. Your subscription means a lot to us and it really motivates us to create more useful tutorials like this. Let's dive into today's tutorial. This is the overall Python code for solving the differential equation using physics informed neural network. Before we dive into the main code, we need to first understand that the differential equation lies at the heart of a physics informed neural network. This is a very important. So here the PDE function computes the rate of temperature change or time using tensor flows automatic differentiation capabilities. This function represents the core of our model because this function takes two arguments the time t and the neural network model. Using these two arguments, this evaluates the overall value of the differential equation at this particular t. So basically this is the value of the governing differential equation that is this one. And here in this uh, create model function, we build our neural network model. We will use a simple feed forward network with uh, three hidden layers, each having uh, 50 neurons and we use tan h activation function for all these three hidden layers. Tan h function is very great at capturing the nonlinear relationship. Tan h function is a common choice in physics and formal neural networks because it introduces nonlinearity while ensuring smooth gradients. So smooth gradients are very important for learning complex relationships in the differential equations. The tan h function maps input values to a range between minus one and one which helps in stabilizing the overall training process. 
and uh, the output layer consists of only one neuron that is the output that we expected that is the predicted temperature before we dive into the other parts of the code so it's a good time to briefly touch an important theorem that is the universal approximation theorem this theorem is a, a very fundamental to neural networks so it states that a sufficiently large neural network can approximate any continuous function to any desired degree of accuracy given enough neurons and a suitable activation function this means that in principle our neural network can approximate the solution to our differential equation that is newton's law of cooling in this case as closely as we need as closely as we need provided we train it well this theorem is what gives physics and formal neural networks their power allowing us to replace uh, traditional numerical solvers with a neural network that learns the physics of the problem directly next this is a call model function so this basically is an intermediate uh, function so using this function we call uh, the network neural network and uh, here we have this uh, loss function defined so in any neural network the loss function is very critical because it guides the entire training process for our pins the loss function combines two key components one is the loss from the pde that is the governing differential equation and the loss from the initial condition the initial condition loss ensures that our model starts with correct initial temperature this combination of loss function that is the loss from the pde and the loss from the initial condition ensures that our model learns both the correct temperature at the starting and uh, the overall cooling behavior over time and next this one is a very important function train step function this function performs one single iteration of the training process where the model parameters are updated to minimize the loss function if you look at this function we use a decorator tensor flows decorator tf dot function this decorator tells the tensor flow to optimize and compile the function into a highly efficient graph this decorator greatly improves the speed and the performance of the overall training process it makes the overall training process very fast try to use this um, decorator in your work also inside the function we use a tensor flows gradient tape function to record the operations needed to compute gradients of the loss with respect to the all the model parameters the loss is calculated using the loss function which combines the residuals from the differential equation and the initial condition and the computed gradients indicate how well the model weights and biases should be adjusted to reduce the loss these gradients are then applied to the model's parameters using an optimizer like uh, adam optimizer for example we use adam optimizer in this uh, tutorial this optimizer updates the model in a direction that minimizes the loss so overall this function returns the total loss value this process we repeat for uh, many iterations to gradually improve the model's accuracy and uh, ensure it uh, satisfies the physics of the problem whenever this loss comes under a certain level of tolerance we will then break this entire training process considering that training is completed these are the three important functions mainly the create model loss function and uh, train step function we call these three functions whenever required to perform the overall training process and to build our physics informed neural network now to train our model we need to generate the data that the network can learn from as i informed in my previous tutorial as well so we don't have any upfront data in this physics informed neural networks we have to develop our own data using the governing differential equations so in physics informed neural networks we generate the data at certain points called collocation points collocation points are specific locations in the domain where we evaluate the differential equation these points act as our training data ensuring that the neural network learns to satisfy the differential equation at each of these points essentially by spreading these points throughout the domain we force the network to learn the physics accurately over the entire range here uh, at present we are generating uh, 100 collocation points over the time interval between um, 0 to 10 seconds so these points will be used to calculate uh, the residuals in our loss function guiding the overall neural network to satisfy the physics described by the equations of newton's law of cooling 
now we have our uh, functions ready and uh, the training data ready now we are good to train the overall network as i said before training a physics informed neural network involves minimizing the loss function using an optimizer here we are using uh, adam optimizer which is well suited for handling uh, the complexity in the neural networks uh, we have also implemented a learning rate scheduler that adjusts the learning rate over time this helps in refining the model's predictions as training progresses allowing for finer adjustments as the neural network converges to a solution so these are the settings that we use for the scheduler learning rate scheduler and in total we are using some 15000 epochs so here you can see the loss value in each 500th epoch so initially it started at 62,635 the overall loss value and uh, after some 12,500 so on we are seeing some negligible loss values so overall I terminated this um, model at the end of uh, 15,000 epochs so whatever the results that you see here are the results that you obtained after the 15,000 epoch once we train the model now here I am generating the data for testing this is the testing data here in the same domain 0 to 10 seconds I am generating 1000 values and I am using this call model function to evaluate the temperature at all this test data and the obtained results are stored in this cheap spread and here I have defined the analytical equation so this is the analytical equation t of t is equals to t ambient plus t0 minus t ambient times e to the power minus kt i put that equation here to evaluate the true temperatures so overall here i plotted the true temperature versus uh, the predicted temperature so when you look at the final plot you see the initial temperature was predicted well and uh, in the throughout uh, domain also from 0 to 10 seconds so the temperature evolution was predicted well i don't see a great differences overall the developed uh, physics informed neural network model was able to predict the temperatures that matches very closely with the analytical solution now let's do a small experiment here i am reducing uh, the overall collocation points to 50 uh, previously we used 100 collocation points in training now let's see what happens if you use 50 collocation points let's run this model if you see we see some slight difference between uh, the analytical solution and uh, the pin solution so just to demonstrate this uh, difference I intentionally introduced this um, error by reducing the number of collocation points Let's see if we can resolve this error by modifying some other parameters without actually increasing the number of collocation points. So in such scenario, we have a method called a multi-weighted loss function where this loss function, we slightly modify it. For example, this is the loss from PDE, right? And this is the loss from initial conditions, right? So here we add certain extra weight to each of these terms and the weights that we add here are basically many a times these are random value but in reality what this does is it will provide some hint to the neural network how important this last term is for example we placed a weight of 4 here which we are stating like uh, the last function from the PDE is very important and we placed weight 2 here in the initial condition placed this lower weight because if you look at the overall plot that we get with 50 collocation points I don't see any problem with the initial condition it predicted well but main difference is coming at the remaining time domain so that's why I placed some higher weight to the loss obtained from the PDE so let's see what we get if I run this code see what happened so we have got the overall domain corrected actually so here um, the difference that we saw before was gone so in this way you can fine-tune your overall loss terms to accurately 
represent the importance of each loss term in the overall loss function as I said as defined here okay this concept we call as a multivited loss function and uh, this is a simple example where we have only one loss term but in some complex examples where we have uh, all initial conditions boundary conditions and uh, the main loss from the governing differential equations in those scenarios this particular multivated loss function is very important which we will solve such kind of complex tutorials in our later videos okay so this video presents a simple example to use this uh, multivated loss function and that's it this is the end of our tutorial we have successfully used a physics informed neural network to solve newton's law of cooling blending both deep learning and classical physics to achieve an accurate solution we have also learned about uh, creating a multivated loss function and we see how creating different weights to different loss terms changes the accuracy of the solution if you have any questions or suggestions feel free to reach out via our email elastropy at gmail.com or leave a comment below in the comment section do not forget to like and subscribe to our channel thank you for watching see you in the next video happy learning